This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. Man, there's so many different things that we can do in After Effects. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about four modern motion design and typography techniques that can be applied to a handful of awesome projects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So you know what we're talking about today. You see what we're gonna create. Let's jump into our first technique and Let's get started. So in our first motion design technique, we're gonna talk about animating the background separately into its own layers with one JPEG image or video clip. And it's really easy to do this to add a very nice stylized touch to your background, whether you're overlaying titles or any type of information on top of some graphics. So, so right here I have an image. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do with this image is go to layer pre-compose and we'll just call this image. And we'll move all attributes into new composition, click okay. Then we'll come here and grab the rectangle tool and simply all we're gonna do is draw out a mask like this. Just a nice rectangle like that, awesome. Then we're gonna come here and create another mask and you know we can make it just a little bit unique, a little bit thicker and a little bit you know offset thin, awesome. Create another one right here perhaps and we'll do one more right here, awesome. And then I can come here to our mask and select our mask and use the arrow keys and I can remove them around and get them to where I want them to be. So what we wanna do here is go to edit, duplicate and this will duplicate the image layer and then We'll just duplicate these two more times so we have a total of four copies or one layer for every mask. And simply we'll come here to the bottom layer, delete the bottom three masks, go to our next layer, hit M on our keyboard for mask, delete mask one, three, and four, so we'll leave mask two there. Go into the next layer, delete mask one, two, and four, leave three, and then we'll move it to the last one and we'll delete the first three masks. Awesome. Then we'll close these up. We'll grab all four of these layers, hit P on keyboard for position, and we'll add a keyframe for it. And we'll move these keyframes forward, maybe to like a second. And then simply we can use the X positions here, and we can just move these off here, you know, kind of offset them. And this will be like our opening transition, if you will. And here's currently what we have with our animation. If we want to continue to animate these, we can simply move forward here and grab the X positions and continue to animate them, you know, over to the left and right just by dragging them you know, pass towards the end of our animation. So then we have our transition in and then they'll continue to move over while this animation continues. So one thing we can also do is go to layer, new null object, and we can parent everything to this null object by selecting our layers, grabbing the link tool, parent it to our null. And we come here to begin our timeline, hit asterisk keyboard for scale. And we can simply just, you know, maybe zoom in on what we're doing. And with this background motion design technique, it can really help make a composition pop and just add a lot of character to what you're doing. And before we move on to our next technique, I want to say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. All right, our second technique is going to be about changing the color of a title as a object passes through it, like this solid. This is great for like a promo type thing, just to add more detail to your composition. So this is really easy to do. So all we have here is our title. And what we can do here is grab a rectangle tool. And what we can do is come up here to layer, new, uh, solid. And we'll call this box. And you can change your color to whatever. I'm going to keep mine on blue. Click OK. Then we'll come here and grab the rectangle tool. And we'll just draw out a box like this. That's fine. And then we'll come over here to our mask one, open this up, add a keyframe for mask path, grab the selection tool here at the top, and we'll just move this over. We'll move forward in time in our timeline so like it passed a second, and we'll just have this go through the other side. Awesome, and then we'll change the blend mode to overlay. Nice. Now we wanna be able to change our color as this passes over. So what we can do here is copy our mask, make sure that all the keyframes are selected as well, and make sure the mask is selected and copy it. Go to the beginning of your timeline and paste that on top of your title. So then this mask will go through the title and we'll come in here to effect generate fill. We'll change this color to black, click OK. And then we'll hit E on our keyboard to bring up the effects, go to fill, go to compositing options and just hit the plus icon. So now you can easily change the color of a title as an object passes by really easily with the fill and mask effect. Oh, and just a quick reminder that Video Hive is having a huge Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale going on right now. So if you want to get a hand on some of the best After Effects motion graphic template packs, like packs that I use as in Toko, 
the Handy Seamless Transitions Pack, and so much more. These will be on sale going on right now and tomorrow through Monday. So if you wanna check out any of these amazing packs and get them at a great price, those links will be in the description. It'll take you right over to the deals page. All right, in our third technique, we're gonna talk about animating our titles within a box and make sure the titles stay within that box as they animate in. It's really easy to do this. So we'll go ahead and start from scratch. We'll come here and grab the rectangle tool, change your color to white or whatever color you want to use, and we'll just draw out a rectangle like this. It doesn't have to be perfect at the moment. Then we'll go ahead and type out our title. So now I have my title right here, and one thing I want to do is take my title layer, go to animate, and we'll add a position. And we'll come here to Y position, and we can bring this right below our box. And we'll come here to maybe like 12 frames, open the range selector, go to start, add a keyframe for that. We'll move forward to maybe a second and a half, and bring this up. And you see each of the letters come on individually. Go to the advanced tab and we'll set the based on to words. And we'll make both of these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So those just pop in like that. Great. And we'll come here and grab the rectangle tool and we'll just create like a mask right underneath our box. And now our titles will only come on within the box. That's awesome. Then we'll grab both our layers, the shape layer and our title. Go ahead and pre compose those and we can call it box title. And we'll just hit S on keyboard for scale. So we'll go ahead and start this off maybe like right here. We'll add a keyframe for scale. Move that keyframe forward in time. And we'll break the chain for the scale here and set the Y scale to 0%. So now this will just open up like that. Awesome. And we can reconnect this. If we want, we can have this like jump up at us and then, you know, fade back down. So it could be scaling down the entire time. And this could be the last keyframe. And here's currently what we have with our, you know, title box. Really simple technique to use with our titles and with a shape layer. And last in our final technique, we're going to talk about just taking our title to the next level really quick in a promo type style. So we have our title in here, of course, and we'll go ahead and open this layer up and we'll come here to animate and we need to click on enable per character 3D. And we'll come here to say position and we're going to want to bring the Z value into the negatives. So we're going to have this come towards us. So hold down shift on your keyboard as you drag this towards us and boom, this is good enough. Then we can also go to add and go to property and add an opacity. Set the opacity down to 0%. Awesome. Go to the range selector. We'll add a keyframe for start. We'll move forward maybe by a second and a half. And we'll set this up to 100%. And then let's go to the advanced tab and let's set this randomized order from off to on. And absolutely, we're going to want to grab both these keyframes and make them easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9. So this should be our current title animation. And it's really cool and really subtle. But we can even take this a little bit further. And what we can do here is take our title layer and we can duplicate it. Make sure this layer is underneath our main one. And we can control double click the pan behind tool here at the top. Hit asterisk keyboard for scale and we can scale this up nice and big like this. And then we'll hit tier and keyboard for opacity and we can lower the opacity down to 10%. And this has like a very nice touch to our title and it looks awesome. Now this tutorial was focused on these very quick and subtle techniques to help you just improve your game. Now of course when it comes to creating full videos and after effects, you know these techniques by themselves are not going to stand up unless you have good compositions. We've been able to tie all these compositions together with my favorite transitions pack, uh, which is the seamless transitions pack which has like 2000 transitions in it just here inside of after effects. Two reasons I mentioned this is that right now this is going to be on sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday so I'll definitely keep an eye out for our transitions pack like this or this one exactly. And how this works specifically the transition pack I have here, which I will link in the description, is that currently right now I have, you know, these two clips without any transition between each other. But if I put my playhead between the two cuts here and I go ahead and take a look at our extension here inside of After Effects, preview a transition that I'm looking to apply so you can see and you can see that this is really awesome and very time effective. So so when I find something I like, I can just click on that transition and it'll automatically apply our transition right at the cut and you can get work done extremely fast while producing amazing work when you're doing you know a lot of compositions and you need to combine them together really easily this seamless transition pack gets the job done so if you want to check out all the black friday and cyber monday sales those links will be in the description and you can pick up awesome packs like this one that will help you save a ton of time and help you produce amazing work so those are my modern techniques when i'm doing motion graphics and typography so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.